Hello everybody, my name is Don Markham, also known as Don the AS Lifter, and today I'm coming to you from our, uh, my, our personal home gym at our house called the House of Gains, um, and I want to talk about winning this war within. Uh, how do you beat this mindset or this mental battle to accomplish things that you want to accomplish or goals you want to accomplish or, or just in general, you know, achieve what you're trying to achieve in life? So... In the end, most battles, most challenges, most physical, mental, financial, whatever the case may be, they all tie back to, you know, the battle of your mind. Uh, for me, I've got an a autoimmune disease known as ankylosing spondylitis. Uh, for people that don't know what that is, it's um, arthritis on steroids, the best, best way to put it, along with a little bone fusion. Um, but I fight this battle of, of fatigue, desire, will, to every day, every morning I get up and I have to force myself to accomplish my, my daily routine or my goals for that day. And a lot of people that have this disease or other other issues, autoimmune issues, we all fight the same thing. Um, so I want to talk about this winning this battle within. How do you, you know, force yourself or make yourself win this will? And, and to be honest, it starts with the mind. In a lot of my videos and a lot of my uh, my talks or my, my, I guess, my speeches or my pep talks, I always talk about winning this this battle within your mind. Because in reality, it all starts within your mind. Because until you think you can do it or you believe you can do it or you will yourself to do it, you're never going to get there. Uh, at the end of the day, it all comes from mental. It's a mental start. Yes, the body and the physical part comes after, and it is an intricate part of it, but if you can't get your mind geared right and you can't go in the right direction and you can't force yourself to you know get out of bed and want to do something you're not going to accomplish anything you're not going to go forward you're not going to make this um, you know this life that you want to make or this goal that you want to achieve so for me you know i have, I have this disease um and it's a pretty taxing disease on the body but one of the things i wanted to do is, is prove to myself and maybe hopefully motivate other people along the way that I don't have to let the disease control me. I can actually still stay fit. I can still work out. I can still be mobile. I can still do things with my kids. Uh, and for the most part, I am winning this battle. And I'd like to share kind of some of the things that work for me to people out there that are struggling. Uh, for one, I am on a biological medication. I do not take it as, as probably prescribed. Uh, I'm supposed to take it every two weeks. And reality is I probably take it about once a month or once every two months. I really only take it when I start feeling bad. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not preaching that that's the best way to do it. It's just, for me, it's my choice. I don't really take it until I start feeling that I need to take it. And I've heard, you know, that it's bad to do that. But in reality, is being on the biological medicine, the, the side effects actually scare the hell out of me. Um, you know, the thought of, you know, the cancer and everything that comes with it as a side effects, honestly, is a, is a scary thought. So I try to minimize at least that much of it as I can. Right or wrong, I'm not preaching. Again, I'm not preaching anybody else to do that. That's just what works for me. Uh, another thing I try to do is I try to at least stay mobile, stay moving, stay constantly going. Uh, my job is pretty demanding mentally, uh, and that tends to want to tax me down. So I have to stay physical in uh, in my life outside of work. So I try to get up and you know work out at least once a day or or uh, at least six days a week, and I try to stay to some kind of a weightlifting routine, stay physical. Uh, on my diet, I try to eat as healthy as possible. Again, I'm human. I still like things. Uh, I cannot um, have this rigid forward diet that some people do. Man, I praise you guys for it, especially the guys that do bodybuilding. My God, the diet is, is, is a very strict. And that's a very intricate part of it. But the reality is I love food. I love to eat. I love certain flavors, certain things. And, you know, I just live with it and work around it. So for me, it's uh, I try to stay as healthy as I can with what I'm eating. I stay motive, motivated, I stay exercising. I do take medication when, as I feel I need it. Um, and the biggest part is I stay mentally, a want, a desire or mental will to wanna to keep doing this. I keep telling myself that I'm not gonna let this disease win. I'm not gonna let um, this condition control me. I'm gonna control it. And I keep telling myself that I can do this. I can do this. Sometimes I push through things and it, it, it hurts. Um, it, I'm not going to lie and sit there and say that every day is just a peachy king day and that I never have pain and I never fight things. There's some days that when I exercise, you know, I can do deadlifts or I can do heavy lifting using my back. 
and there's some days I can't. Um, right now, I'm in kind of one of those spells. The last two weeks, I've had a lot of, I guess, issues and pains in my SI joint. So therefore, I just abandon those lifts and work around them. Uh, and it's just part of, you know, the condition, part of the disease, and part of what I fight through. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm not going to let this disease win. I'm not going to let it control me. I'm not going to let something define who I can and cannot be and where I can and cannot go and what I can and cannot do. So, you know, in doing this war, this battle, I have to tell myself and constantly remind myself that, hey, you know, you're in charge. You can do this. Um, I get asked from time to time on, on, on the on the pages and sometimes through people that email me and message me, you know, how do you work out? How, how can you do this with AS? How can you fight to, you know, get up and stay motivated? How, how are you able to do this? And guys, to be honest, guys and guys and girls, to be honest with you, that it comes from a mindset. I have to, I have to just believe I can. And then I just force myself to do it. And I know it's a kind of a hard thing to explain to somebody. And uh, a lot of people won't get that. Uh, but it's, it's sheer desire. I desire to not let this thing control me. I really desire it. I really, truly believe that I can define it. It can't define me. Uh, and that's the battle of the war within. Uh, if you really want to beat the condition, you really want to have the best life possible, and it doesn't have to be exercise or working out or physical fitness. It's just what works for me is my catalyst. But the, the, the thing is to find your catalyst. Find what you desire, what you drives you, what you want to do, what's your passion. And use that passion to fuel that mind, to force your mind to say, hey, I can do this. I can keep doing this. Hey, you know what? That wasn't that bad. A little bit of pain. I can live with it. I can move on. I can keep progressing, moving forward. And at the end of the day, it's not going to control me. This condition, this, this issue, whatever that may be in your life, it's not going to control you. It's not going to allow you to come down to its level and be a lesser version of yourself. At the end of the day, all that you're, you're tasked to do in this life is be the best version of you you can be, period. doesn't matter what that version is. Be the best version of you that you can be. That's this battle within, is how do you fight yourself to become the best version of you? So I challenge everybody that watches this video, tomorrow when you wake up, or even today, Say, you know what? This is what I'm going to do today. This is my goal today. This is my accomplishment. I'm going to be the best version of me today. Period. I'm not going to let this disease or this issue or this depression or whatever it may be, I'm not going to let it control me. I'm not going to let it define who I am. I am me. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to live how I want to live. And I'm going to be the best version of myself. I challenge everybody to do this. If you have ankylosing spondylitis, I challenge you to get up and just move. Stay active. And it doesn't have to be weight training. It could be walking, hiking, biking, swimming. It could be just going shopping, going out, getting out, being in the general public. You have to free that depression and that compression in your mind of thinking that you're suffering or thinking that you're helpless or thinking that's, again, it goes back to that war within. See where I'm going with this? Win that battle within. Be the best version of you not only for you, but for life in general, for your family, for your friends, for everybody else out there and yourself. Be the best version of you. Again, this is Don Markham, also known as Don the AS Lifter. Uh, click that subscribe button if you like what you're hearing. Uh, please share the video if you if it think it um, may touch somebody or help somebody. And again, guys, uh, if, if you have a story to tell, please put it out there. Um, the more we help each other the more we tell our stories the more people that may listen to it to find you know find something that fuels their fire to get going and again be the best version of you now start now thank you you can follow me on facebook and under don markham or don markham a fitness journey with uh, ankylosing spondylitis and i'm also on instagram as texas markham thank you everybody thank you for the support uh and again, if, if you haven't uh, watched the video, I also WebMD did a nice video uh, documentary on me. It's uh, underneath uh, ankylosing spondylitis, and it's, I think it's um, how, to, how to deal with weightlifter dealing with AS or something like that. But again, um, thank you guys all for the support. And man, um, I, ho I hope you, know, you, you find that best version of you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.